Hi, this is Jerry McGee from Lakeland, Florida. I'm going to teach you how to put on a field cover. First, you're going to need some good old-fashioned soap and water. It's good stuff. Paper towels. Not necessarily the whole roll, but lots of paper towels. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife, preferably a sharp one. And then lastly, you're going to need this little doohickey right here, or something similar to it. It's hard, it's plastic, and it helps get all the air bubbles out of your field cover. So, I've got my sheet metal. I don't know if you can see it because my, my work table is also sheet metal, but I've got my sheet metal laid down here. And I've got my field cover on top. I've squared it all up. And I took some magnets. There's six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three in the front, three in the back. To uh, hold half of this field cover down. So from the 50-yard line back, I'm, is has got magnets on it. And then I'm going to pull this side back. going to separate the protective adhesive cover from the field cover. Now I didn't learn this technique, I didn't invent this technique. Lynn Schmidt shared it with me. And uh, there was a guy out in California named Cello who made a video on how to put these down with soap and water. And I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of easier since I learned this technique. And uh, it's really good. So now I take my very sharp X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut the protective layer. I'm not going to cut the field cover, I'm going to cut the protective layer. I'm just going to go right down, like so, and remove it, and throw this away. Oh yeah, you're going to need a garbage can. So, then I'm going to inspect the, the field for any little tiny pieces of debris or hair or any little imperfections that can get underneath here. and Make sure that they're not here. And then I'm going to check out over here, make sure there's none on the backing. And it looks like we're clear. So then you want to take good old soap and water, give it a little shake, and you're going to spray the entire backing of the field cover, and you're going to spray the entire uh, metal, okay, so you're going to do everything, you're going to liberally apply this. So you just make sure that this, you got 100% coverage of soap and water across this whole thing. And now comes the fun part. You bring this over. And then set it with your fingers. Pull it as, as you don't have to be super tight. You just want to make sure that you're, you got a good setup going. Now you need paper towels. 
And what I do is I put this paper towel over here at the end because I'm going to squeegee this thing and all the water is going to come out and I'm going to catch it with the paper towel. We're going to go through some paper towels. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to start at the 50. This thing is about 5 yards wide, maybe. Actually, it's 8 yards wide on a big field. So. And you just start in about the middle. Apply firm pressure. And watch that everything that's underneath it run right out. And you just methodically go down every five yards or so. If you miss a spot, go back and get it again. Do the other side and catch it up. Grab some more paper towels, soak up everything that's on your work table. And then you want to kind of use your use your lights from your your uh, shop or wherever you're working and you're going to look for little spots that might be raising up anywhere. Also kind of use your hand see if there's anything under there like there's a little spot right there we'll just run it out with our thumb and you want to catch this as fast as you can because right now this adhesive material is is drying and it's adhering to the the sheet metal and you know within 20 minutes this thing is going to be down permanently so all right and then once you're good with that, move your magnets to the other half. Not that this side needs holding down, I'm just a little OCD. And I'm on the safe side, so. Now, we're going to do the same thing to this half. So we'll pull it back. Pull this protective adhesive covering off. And throw it away. Remember, you want to check for dust and little tiny pieces and crumbs in case you're eating in here and you shouldn't be eating in here. Hair from your head, you never know when your hair's going to fall out. And then whatever that was that I just pulled off. Alright. So again, we're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good here. Back to the soap and water, and again, liberally apply.
and make sure you got it covered. And back over we go. Got a lot of family in Oklahoma. My brother, his wife, and their four kids have uh, grown up in Oklahoma. I settled in Florida. But uh, I actually got my pilot's license in Oklahoma. And uh, I have a bunch of friends in Oklahoma. Uh, Barry Stevenson and uh, Carl Coley, good electric football guys. Uh, so... As I get ready for this MFCA Tournament in Richmond 2015 Electric Football World Championships, I decided to do a little Oklahoma board because my nephew Ryan and my niece Ashley both graduated from uh, University of Oklahoma, and uh, and uh, their sister Ashley, I mean uh, Amber, is getting ready to go to the University of Oklahoma this fall. So, we're expecting great things out of them. And they're all doing good. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention my other nephew, Nicholas. He didn't go to the University of Oklahoma, but he's from Oklahoma. And he's a good guy, too. So. Alright, so I did, I did this quarter. Now I'm going to do this last quarter. And then we're going to get ready for the, the piece de resistance. Put this all together. can't have enough paper towels. And sop up all the excess. Sometimes you get these little spots where they want to rise up on you. Just take a magnet, set it down there for a few minutes, and it'll stick like glue. Starting setting up really nice. I'm liking it a lot. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna trim it. So what we got here is a, a little bit of bleed, which means there's a little bit of excess that goes over the edge of the field cover. And that's what I'm gonna trim right now. I'm gonna trim all the way around, make sure it's good and solid. And uh nice professional fit on here. So again, feel for any parts that are raised up. There's one. And just squeeze them on out.
Then next you gotta hunt for your very sharpest exacto blades. A messy shop is crucial to a successful project. Oh my gosh. This one will do. All right. Here we go. Just find your corner. You'll feel it when you get down in there. Trim it up. Throw the excess away. And do the next one. Find out where you're at. Well, I cut it close on this side. Sometimes when you cut these things, they want to bunch up on you. Just move your X-Acto blade the other way. And then find your little corner. And just go right down that seam. Four corners. Now we're going to set it in the frame. Get my magnets together. Magnets. They're awesome. Unless you put them by a cell phone. And they're still awesome, and the cell phone is just bad. Sometimes these things like to suction down on you. They're good for everything. Since 
water and electricity don't mix that well. I'm going to wipe this down one more time. But sometimes water will seep back under. Although it'll be dry in about five minutes, I don't think you want to sit here and watch water dry. So. Pick up the frame, set it on the table. <clears throat> Lay it on over. it in. We're ready. Ready to go live. All right. So the frame's all built. Field level is in. Motors are in. Switches are in. Graphics are in. Life is good. this sheet metal is loose is say your team favorite team is Oklahoma Sooners you can have the frame and then you can replace with another team in case you have like uh, I don't know Dallas Cowboys but your heart belongs to the Sooners there we go well uh we have ourselves a football field. And lastly, take the switch. So I'll tune the motors and get this thing running a little bit faster. And that's how we do that.